Uh, Jeff Chrysler is a, it's pronounced Chrysler. That's right, right, like the car. Like the car? No money, like the car, but the name, like the car. Are you, are you doing better than the company is? Actually, nowadays, I think, well, yeah. You're in business there now. I'm in the black, just a tiny little bit. All right, again, bring it up, Race. Uh, he is the author <laughs> <laughs> of the best-selling set. See, immediately he gets to the race issue. I don't know. <laughs> Play the race card this yeah, early in the show. The you know, the, the North black. has profits just like the South has profits. They're both in the black. Again, you're now you're in the black. Okay, profits. I'm, let me, this is, I'm having a word game going on in my head here. It's a called a homonym, I believe. Oh, again, now we're talking about homonym. Add homonym attacks right Now we're here. talking about the gender issue. All right. Jeff is, uh, your author, you've got the best-selling book, which you apparently have in your hand. You carry it around with you to impress I'm women. a whore. Now we're talking about Spitzer. Fine. Uh, get rich cheating. Right. Thank you very much. Now you can leave. You did the plug. You don't have to stay. Anymore, right? <laughs> Good night, everybody. All right. Um, you also wrote for uh, Comedy Central's Indecision uh, 2008. Yep, and That's for uh, thestreet.com, so right. I've covered all the bases. I see, so you've got left, left, left brain, right brain. you exactly. got that going on. Mark Levine is uh, your radio talk show host and a television host, constitutional attorney, a gay rights activist, a victim's rights crusader, and a Nazi hunter. Uh, all of that, and, you, and you, more. You, in your spare time, you're a notary public. Is uh, that correct? Actually, right? I, mean, I am a lawyer, so... And you're a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, now, um, and uh, also with us is Will Kane. And, and I'll be on O'Reilly tonight, actually, with Laura really? Ingram at 8 p.m. Is that right? I am, yeah. yeah that's, um, I'm sorry. Uh, best of luck with that. <laughs> uh, we'll and, uh, you know, we have Will Kane with us, his host off the page. That's a video page over at the National Review. That's right. Uh, dot com. Let's talk for a second here about what well, we just had. We just had this guy from this Confederate group, and they're promoting Confederacy Month. They're doing it in Virginia and parts of Georgia. Good idea or bad idea to promote? I think it's an interesting idea because there are some great things about the Confederacy, about the <laughs> South. There were some yeah. positive things. States' rights, a nice issue. States but leaving out slavery, nice. it's like Hitler leaving out killing the Jews. I mean, it's yeah, kind of the right. trademark issue, and right. I think that's where it really happened. And anytime you're a governor and you have to go and actually say I, that I slavery is a bad thing. We put up thing. Bob McDonald here, the governor yeah. of Virginia. I think we have still. He, he, you know, he's promoting this. The last two governors of uh, Virginia did not. You know, Mark Warner and Tim Kaine wanted sure. no part of it. We have the McDonald uh, picture there. You put it up? Uh, maybe not. Well, McDonald knows that just yeah, uh, it's yeah. important. He, he's trying to play to a sort of base. He's trying to get people out. I, is this good for the Republican Party base? It doesn't make. Oh, well, at this point, what is the re what is the Republican Party base? I mean, like a bunch it, of angry white guys. But uh, that, that you want to you want to weigh in? I mean, Confederate supporters. Yeah, this and this can't be good for the Republican Party. I would think. McDonald's move? No, it was yeah. stupid and insensitive. All right. Well, I guess you've been now you've been exercised now from the party. Yeah, not, exactly. No, 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 no. Yeah. Let's not. Let, yeah. You can't attribute that attitude strictly with conservatism or even republicanism. You certainly not can kind of equate it with the Democratic Party and liberalism. Well, but well, I know you'd like to try. Well, Let's we can ahead. do certain things if you want. But first of all, this <laughs> right. image that that you're putting forward, Alan, and tying so tightly to conservatism. By the way, we're all white guys. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It but obvious. we're not all angry. Yeah, all right, that's good. Okay, go ahead. I, I contend that that is a small minority of the Tea Party, an even smaller minority of Republicans. I'm not even talking about the Tea Party. And a yet even yeah. smaller minority of conservatives. So, but when we tie that image to all three of those things, I have to wonder why. Why do you do that? When the governor of Virginia you know, issues a proclamation to declare it uh, Confederate History Month because he's pushed by this group and then forgets to mention slavery and a day later has to put up another... That's, not, said, the well, that's not the liberal. That's not the liberal media. No, 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 and I said that's that was stupid us. and insensitive, right? So my right. response is only to you tying right. conservatism and republicanism to. Right. Well, but let's right. remember who Governor McDonald. I mean, he's the guy who delivered the Republican response. He's the guy the Republicans chose of all Republicans in the nation to respond to the State of the Union address from right. Obama. He's not just some guy, some governor. In fact, Republican Virginia governors prior to the two Democratic governors did right. sign a proclamation on the Confederacy, but they did manage to mention slavery. When when McDonald was asked yeah. why didn't he mention slavery? I think Jim Gilmore did that. No, do you know what he said? He said, I didn't think it was significant. Yeah, right. right. You don't think, think it was significant. That's my governor, my Virginia this is governor. somebody who's been talked about as a player in the Rising Republican star, Party. absolutely. Yeah, he I made a mistake. Oh, okay. Should he change his mind? <laughs> he made Are you calling on him to revise his declaration? I think he has. He's revised it. Not he made about a slavery. mistake. But, but making a mistake, I mean, he's making a proclamation. It's it. not like... He's going on a web show and just chatting and something comes out of I mean, this is uh, what he does as a governor. He's supposed to be prepared to even suggest that it wasn't a deliberate omission to me yeah. seems disingenuous. Because this is He a, said a it was a deliberate it's, omission. He said it wasn't right. significant. Slavery wasn't that important, apparently to the Civil War. It just wasn't a big deal. That's what they're trying to that's what these Confederate groups I, say. I guess like, the reason I understand why tie it all into conservative that's is the my question. Point. it's because yes. he's like you said, he's put forth as a leader of the Republican Party now. And like I Bobby Jindal was. And I think liberals, and I'm kindly suggesting Allen, 
might have an interest in hunting for racism behind every single conservative corner. You don't have to hunt. You can just see it. George right. Allen, the prior Republican Virginia governor, had it throughout his closet. So at least in my state of Virginia, you don't have to hunt very it's hard to find Republican, Republican racists. A prominent news story this week is about it being Confederate History Month. I'm not hunting. I'm just reading the headlines. <laughs> well, so and, and again, I don't want to mask the fact that I'm saying yeah. McDonald made a mistake. Yeah, okay, we can, we, can, we can move on. I mean, you know, but they, they, I think you have, they're term limited in Virginia, I think, to one they term, are. which is, they are. thankfully, or, or three I wouldn't mistakes. get my hopes up. This is the kind of stuff that hurt George Allen. It's not good for Virginia. I'm sorry, I missed what you said. Yeah, I just said two terms or three mistakes. Yeah, there you go. He's actually a moderate right. compared to our Attorney General, by is the that, way. Cuccinelli, I mean, he's the one that wanted to force universities to discriminate against gay people, even though they didn't want to. Right. Great, great state. My he's home also state. starting uh, your, the Attorney General in Virginia. You say we. Are you from? I am. I live. I am a resident of Virginia. I work in Washington. And my show's out of Washington, exactly. but I live across the river, uh, and I'm very ashamed of our state government. He's also one of those general who is out to try to overturn health care on constitutional ground. So that's right. Uh, we'll see Ridiculous. how. Which we'll see to how me is that to me is more of a disgrace than even these statements because. At a time like this, we need to put our resources and our energy towards creating infrastructure, uh, innovation, creating jobs, not fighting for something that you disagree with. You know, yeah. if not well, like uh, adhering to the Constitution. It has no basis. In the are you saying that the health care doesn't adhere to the Constitution? I think there's a good argument that it does not. I don't think there's I an argument there's at all. all. I went to law school in the state of Virginia at UVA and studied with one of the great, well, great. constitutional got, lawyers. Are you a lawyer, Alan? I'm not a lawyer, well, and three. I haven't spent much okay. time so, in Virginia, so I'm... Uh, I don't see the grounds for it, and if it's ground, it's, it's spacious at... Uh, it's not how you say the word? Spacious. 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 There you go. Spacious. Call me. Uh, spacious. Uh, spacious. At, at best. Spacious something we don't have. <laughs> it's got a spacious. lot of room. Um, uh, at best, yeah. I just feel like these attorneys generals that are focusing on that when you've got stuff like mine safety that's going on in force. When 25 got, people right, dead, and got, because we don't have enough rights, government regulation. Really led better. All these things that are being unenforced are more... It's frivolous to you because you disagree with it, but no, there because, is a serious no, constitutional no, there's question not. here. There's not a serious there constitutional, constitutional question. question. Article 1, Section 8 says that the government can tax and spend for the general welfare. It also says they can regulate interstate the commerce. Taxing argument. It also says that there's nothing in the Constitution that gives the government the power to mandate that people buy any particular product. Article we, we 1, could, Section 8, we, Medicare. I guess we could go then and overturn the mandate that we pl plan to Social Security. We over and Medicare. The, overturn the and mandate the police, for Medicare. And firefighters over, over and the military. What about the fact that people are forced to get uh, drivers, when you get a driver's license, forced to get a Okay. How many things I'm can so we I'm so happy we, we agree based, on Social Security on and Medicare. Your, but you think on, they're unconstitutional? I think you're going to say that right here on the air. Yes. So all the, okay, well, all the reforms, I, I, auto insurance is different. He's so consistent. All the for the, he's but, consistent. All right, so he right, wants to overturn Social Security and Medicare, too. So right. Actually, most of the reforms of the last 40 right. years are unconstitutional. Let's turn back the clock and overturn all the reforms since FDR. I think that the government's powers, the federal government's powers, are laid out in Article 1, Section 7 of the Constitution. And it's, it's very uh, eight times later. We could lay it out right here for us, <laughs> and there's nothing in there about retirement plans, socialized yeah, you medicine, know why? Because mandating our insurance coverage. Because did not write specifics. They wrote in broad generalities. They wrote for the general they wrote welfare. A it's right there in Article 1, What's Section 8. Can I ask you a not, question? What's not yeah. included in the general welfare? Most things are. So That's the federal means, government can welfare. do anything. No, not anything. You what can't they do? Uh, they, they can't quarter a soldier in your home. According to the that's a uh, Third Amendment. So, so the so there's things they can't do. They can't, for example, torture people. Even though Bush did, that's that's uh, the Eighth Amendment. The other thing they can't do, they can't spy on you without a warrant. And that's another thing that Bush did. So, if it's not laid out specifically in the Constitution, the government can do it. All right, we're going to move on. We got some other no, things. I, I want to get that. this email in from Bob in Phoenix, who writes, "Kudos to Liberty University." That's the Jerry Falwell deal, I believe, uh, mm. that he used to run uh, for being a college that's suing the United States over the Obama health care plan. So Liberty University apparently that's, suing. Well, it's because they believe in activist judges. They that's want right. to overturn right. the, the exactly. express exactly. the will of the people. Of the people. We so do have a representative. It's weird how things government. change. We're going to have Christina Corbin in better with the Tea Party. They think we have taxation without representation. We have representation. We just don't have representation those people don't like. And they want to overturn it. Sometimes minorities lose in a democracy, and they're really very upset about that.